You know, it's almost impossible to do something on YouTube that's never been done before, especially when it comes to firearms, right? This, I don't know, this actually might be a first. You know, sometimes when I come out to the range, it's not all play. Sometimes it's actually work, but luckily the work is also play. So what I'm doing today is a little bit of chrono work. I'm doing some ammo testing um, with the 44 Auto Mag. And you may notice down here on the table, I have two 44 Auto Mags. This is the one that you've seen before. I did put a new pair of grips on it, some wood grips, and I've also bought a new magazine for it as well. The one you see right here is one that I have recently acquired, or one I acquired not too long ago. I have yet to shoot this gun, and it is so gorgeous and in such amazing condition that I almost hate to. <laughs> almost. Um, I will shoot it. Um, it is not an unfired gun, so I don't have that hanging over my head. And even then, I probably would still shoot it because just it's how I am. But I'm going to test, now um, let me back up a little bit. So if you know anything about the 44 Auto Mag, or if you're one of the few people that owns one, you know that for many, many years, I mean for decades, you've had to make your own ammo if you wanted to shoot the guns. But now there is new interest in the gun. I'll we'll talk to you about that more, much more, uh, at a later time. But because of that, there is now commercially available ammunition. Right now, this is SBR Precision ammunition. This is the only one that I'm aware of that is commercially available, but it's likely there could be more even right now and certainly um, in the very near future. So what I want to do is I want to use this new ammunition to get a baseline. I want to see what it chronographs at and how they've loaded it. And make an opinion for myself on how it feels to shoot it and what I think of it. Do I like that load? Is it too hot? Is it too soft? Etc. And then I want to use that baseline to help tailor the ammunition that I do make, that I do reload myself, which up until now has been the only ammunition I've been able to shoot. So that's what I'm here to do today. I thought some of you might think that parts of this were interesting, so I thought I'd bring you along. I hope you don't mind, and I'll try and keep it short, but I hope you enjoy it. It's been a while since I have shot this 44 Auto Mag. High time I got back to it, what do you say? I'm gonna do five rounds of the factory load. Hopefully we'll get some good chrono data. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> that's hot. I don't especially like them coming back in my face like that, I gotta tell you. All right. <laughs> there is five. And let me tell you what, that's some hot stuff. Okay, let's review real quick. 1305, 1338. 1332, 1308, and 1341. The high, 1341. The low, 1305. And the average, 1324. And that is with a, uh, what is it, 240 grain bullet? That's some energy there, folks.
By the way, this is the first time the sun's been out in about five years. Okay, so that was the factory stuff. Moving on now to the stuff I made myself, just an opinion hand loads, which like I said, up until, up until very recently, was about all you had choice wise. So I have always tried to, based on some very good information and very reliable advice um, from someone who knows, the advice I was given was load it as low as it, it'll go and reliably cycle the action. So that's what they let's say they, that's what the gun likes. So, and and as a shooter, I can tell you that's probably what I like too. So that was always my goal, but without a bench line for uh, for factory stuff. So let's see what I've got from my ammo. Yeah. And I can definitely feel that difference. That's a jump, wasn't it? the camera's picking up the muzzle flash but it's broad daylight I mean like midday on a sunny day and when I shoot this thing all I see is muzzle flash okay review 1197 so I'm in 29 1204 1221 and 1112 that one was pretty light the high was 1221 the low, 11.12, of course. Average, 11.72, which is kind of a misleading average because we had one so much lower than the others. I'd say the average was probably, of the, of the four, probably close to 1,200, which is kind of what I like. That felt good. Shooting this 44 Auto Mag for the very first time. Since I acquired it, I've had it for the better part of a year. Not quite a year, but I've had it for a long time and I've yet to shoot it. It's just so gorgeous. It's been so well, um, it's, it's just been so well restored and refurbished and was obviously well maintained before that. So, and didn't feed. All right. Didn't go all the way into battery, second time, second round. Okay, that was three, but, and that's all I put in there. <laughs> Just let me, let's make sure. Because she did not lock the slide back, or the bolt. So the bolt didn't lock back on the last round, and we had one round that didn't go all the way into battery, but such is the nature of this gun. Man, the bolt is tight on this thing. All right, so might as well make my effort legit and do a little bit of shooting and see if I can hit a target. I am 15 yards away, and I'm using the factory ammo from SBR, so it's gonna thump. I'm gonna go back to my previous, the one I've had for a while. We'll finish up that way. Same ammo, of course. Mm. 
And that's why we wear iPro, boys and girls. I am just about auto-magged out for the day. <laughs> These things have been handing me my butt.